hi guys welcome back to my channel it's Angela and I have done a since tonight is the harvest full moon and tomorrow will be uh, well not tomorrow the 22nd so today's the 20th so in two days we'll have the it, it will be officially fall I decided to go ahead and do a tarot spread on that and I've pulled the cards but I haven't looked at them yet so I looking at the Harvest Moon messages, uh, tarot and oracle spread for the full moon, um, and it's by Emerald Lotus Divination. Um, you can pull it on on Pinterest. And there's six questions. And the first question is, what in my life is ready to harvest? And so this card I pulled, and it is the moon. And I've been getting the moon a lot lately. In a lot of my cards. So I just found it fascinating that I got it in this card. Um, and he's so cute and cuddly. And I picked the, um, oh my gosh, Oak, Ash, and Thorn. Because it is, to me, the ultimate fall deck that I have. Um, just look at the bags. It's all fall leaves and beautiful. Um, and then I made a patch for it that it's even got. It's called fall. And then I got a wooden button that I found um, that reminds me of... It screams out gash and thorn. So here we are. <laughs> so I've got the moon. It says, what in my life is ready to harvest? Um, and I almost feel like it's not ready to harvest. It's ready to cut away. Um, if that makes sense. Uh, to cut away from me is these darker, uh, more hibernation mode um, feelings like um, like if I've been in hermit mode or if I have darker thoughts about certain things, then I need to cut those away from me because you're no longer doing me any good. They're just kind of hindering me. So that's what I'm getting there. And then for number two, what have I neglected in my crop this year? And two cards actually fell out. <laughs> one is the lover's card and one is the world. Wow. And I totally feel like this is, um, I've kind of neglected my relationship and my crop this year. And I've really kind of, and this is another, to me, it's a, a family. Again, it's almost like I've neglected the family, um, my relationship with my, maybe my husband and my family this year. Um, trying to do my pursuits, I've kind of, that's kind of gone to the wayside a little bit. So I need to kind of veer back toward that um and then this to me is also screaming missed opportunities uh, because the world is your oyster he's being handed the world you have to want it you have to know it um to have it um and that's what i'm getting there and i love that those two came out together um and then number three what should i cultivate more of in my life and two cards fill out for that as well uh, what should I cultivate more of in my life? We got the Two of Swords, Page of Wands. Um, this is screaming, you know, indecision. You're blind to the situation. You're, um, and the, the, again, this is kind of reconfirming what the question even is. What should I cultivate more of in my life that I'm blind to the things I need to cultivate, like the page of wands um and to me it's again this fiery passion of going up for what you want don't not letting indecision stop you uh, from getting what you want um and that makes sense too as well so for number four something i would store for winter i should store for winter and that's the Ace of Swords. And I'm getting intellect here. Um, it is all about the, the sword suit is all about the mind. But it's something, it's almost like it's telling me don't show all your cards. Um, don't show every card that you, you have in your hand. Keep some of that back because you may need it at a later date. Wow, very interesting. Don't show them how smart you are just yet. That's <laughs> what I'm getting there. And then number five, how best to find this year's bounty? 
how to best to find this year's bounty. Ugh, and it's the tower. And it's, I'm totally getting this, you know, let it crumble. Let, and it's funny because I just had a tree fall in my house uh, less than a month ago. <laughs> and this tower in this card is a tree. So it's almost like, I have to let the tower happen. I have to let the tree fall where it may. Um, I have to let it, allow it to continue to crumble. Um, cause I'm 10, I have a tendency to try to keep, keep juggling everything as it's falling. And, um, I need to let it fall where it may. And that's interesting that that came up because of, this has been a weird, weird day for me. <laughs> Very weird day for me. Um, I had somebody contact me. I haven't heard from in years. Um, the whole thing was just crazy. So that's interesting that the tower is what came up. It's, and it's almost like it's telling me, you know, let the chips fall the right where they may. And then once the smoke is cleared, the dust has settled, then you can re survey the damage and pick it, start picking things back up. Maybe at a different because again, this is to me all about change and our new cycle beginning, um, just like death. Um, so that's interesting. Number six, what's coming up next in the cycle of life? And I have the nine of swords and the nine of swords is normally about nightmares, but this card gives me a feeling of rust and peace. I don't know why he's surrounded by the swords, almost like the swords are his protection, like his barrier from the rest of the world. Um, and that's what I'm getting with this. It's like, once I go through these cycles here, I'm at a new cycle where I'm ready to rest again. I will be getting to that, that point. So that's very interesting. So let's pull a card. I do want to pull another card from my new chapter. I can't put it down. I've, I need help. <laughs> and just give us an overall. And I bent one of my cards. Oh my gosh, it's bent. I'm going to cry. One of my cards got bent in there. Ugh. It's okay. It's okay. And I love that they're this smaller size deck. I'm going to get the size difference. <laughs> A lot, a lot smaller, but they're more palm sized, which I love, but I, I love the messages in this, in this deck. Um, any other messages we can glean from this harvest moon, full moon tarot spread? Any other messages we can get here? Any other messages? That is the nine of swords again. What? Can't make it up. And then that one was poking out the king of cups. Wow. Crazy. Yeah, we got the nine of swords again. That's crazy. <laughs> and I, I still get this feeling of protection. Um, a time to rest. The, the swords are like his protection. Interesting. And then the King of Cups, it's, again, to me, all about emotions, showing your emotions. Um, wow. I can't believe I bit that card. And then we have, I'm going to pull one Oracle card from my Oracle Echoes, second edition. And then we'll close this because I have another spread I want to do beyond this. <laughs> Any other information we can glean? from and I got the deceit and again it's about to me this card is about look at the back spot isn't that just gorgeous <sighs> to me the the deceit is about deceiving yourself um, like you're shortchanging yourself and I've been getting that message for quite some time um, all of these messages I've been getting for quite some time I just need to figure out how to listen and then the silver lining card. Um, there's a reason all this is happening. This, this chaotic energy and this, um, weird energy that I've been feeling the last few weeks is because there's a silver lining. There's something coming 
that will make all of that make sense. Make my tower moment make sense. Um, so that makes sense. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I just thought I would do a quick spread here uh, since it is, you know, um, the eve, eve before, um, the first day of fall, which is my favorite time of year. However, um, I, I don't know why I said, however, I don't know. Um, yeah, if you guys like this spread, I can, um, uh, I can do it as a hashtag. You guys can do it as well. If you like, um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification button. So you're loaded to any future videos and let me know what y'all think. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, don't hesitate, hesitate to comment below. And I forgot to mention that this is a moonstone. I brought in and I got two pieces of citrine here raw citrine um, and then a really cool darker amethyst here that I brought in for the energy just needed this happier pick-me-up I don't know about you guys but it's been a weird weird day like I felt like I was walking through molasses all day. And then I had a person call me that I haven't spoken to in years. Um, it's a relative. Um, haven't heard from them in forever. And they acted like we had just spoken yesterday. <laughs> there is a lot of hard feelings there. So I did have to kind of cleanse my area and do a little bit of, bit of meditating before I even did the spread. Um, so I will be meditating on that um, situation and doing a card pull for that. Um, but yeah, this was very interesting, um, especially with the tower coming up here. Um, and then again with this family, especially when that was a relative that called this neglecting family kind of deal here. That's very interesting. So yeah, if you guys want to check it out, check it out. Um, just let me know. I'll talk to you later. Bye.